I wanted everything under one digital roof. Um, I didn't want to click here and then go to an external site. I want everything. And I wanted search to be the center beam under this roof. And that's what this platform has allowed us to do. My students, they wouldn't, I feel like they, I don't even know if I said do a catalog search, if they would really know that. And I know that that's appalling to talk about that in library land, but it's true. Like these, our students, um, they, they come to us, they're first gen students, they're, they're socioeconomic, they're struggling students. And I just don't want a highbrow mindset of pretension, academic pretension, saying you must come to me already knowing how to do this. I want it to be accessible for them it's like an intuitive and, and, and pretty. I want it to be attractive and pretty. <laughs> so, and this allowed me to do all of that. And what I love so much, my favorite feature of Stacks is that um, the search bar and these four buttons, they travel on every single page. So from any place, you can search the library. So I'm gonna take you to the site. This is what it looks like now. So again, this search bar and these four buttons travel with you everywhere you go. Um, so this is a landing page and this is a, what they call a, a resource flow. And then these three items here, are what they call a call out. And I love this, the hours down here, you can toggle between all of your different branches. Um, let me click on the subject guide list here. And I've got, I've got them grouped by audience, staff and faculty, student, and then we do, I call them virtual displays. Those are the ones like, you know, Pride Month. Native American Heritage, I just did the other day. So, and it, just took me a little bit the hardest the most time consuming was just creating these images in, in canva you know um and then let me go to i told you i would show you the literature one and show you how it compares and because i created these images in canva for a libguides i could just bring them over here but i just i just really like the way it looks now you can see I have Google Analytics here. <laughs> so, and any, any page that comes here um, that's, that's attached to this URL goes through here. And so um, we use Google Analytics. I was gonna log into um, the administrator part and show you. So here's your dashboard and you can, um, system configuration, yeah, right here. This is where you add your Google Analytics and you just put your property ID there, which of course I had to get my friend who is, works in IT to help me with doing that because <laughs> I'd never done that before. I taught two classes yesterday and I was getting feedback in real time with them. And the trouble is they weren't on the old site. So I couldn't ask them how they felt about the old, like a comparison, but I really didn't have to teach them how to use it. That's, and that's that's what I was going for. So the, the only thing I had to do was basically explain the differences between this database or that database. You know what I mean? Like literally dig into the content as opposed to how to use the site before I could dig into the content. That's really terrific. I logged in as an administrator and I'm going to, um, there's a black bar at the bottom and I'm going to click customize this page just to show you uh, how to rearrange um, the things on here. Um, you just click and drag it. It's that easy. Like if I wanted to move this here, I could. There we go. You just move things around any way you want to. And you can see it in real time, what you've done. I want to click cancel because I don't want to save those changes. <laughs> uh, okay. But I also want to show you while I'm here, I'm like, I didn't have to click customize this page, but let's say that I wanted to edit this and no longer have it be an embed code because this is an embed code for Avon, an entire Avon channel. But let's say that I wanted to, because when you're off campus, this presents as a Botlo Hub login. So what if I was like, you know what? I don't want to do that anymore. I just want to create an image that says, you know, go here. There's the little gear in the top. 
you just click edit and it takes you right to uh, the custom block that you can edit. And then you just save it and it fixes it right there. It's, I have saved time doing this. I mean, there was a learning curve at the beginning because I had gotten used to doing things. That, I mean, just with anything new, you know, but um, other than that, like it's been, it's been great. And the faculty love it. I want to show the search because um, this did, uh, before we had it integrated into the stacks, um, it did kind of go out. And even though I customized uh, the EDS um, platform to, to be branded, you could still tell that you were leaving this page and going to another one. So searching here now is in-house. Like you have not left this. And I just, I adore that. I just, I, I feel like it, it trusts. Like I feel like if I were a student, I would trust, oh, I'm in the right spot. I know exactly where I am, what I'm getting. I'm not leaving here. It's really easy. And here, this is the button that I have to link back to Motlow's homepage. Um, so you can see I've stole this green color. So this is what Motlow's page looks like. And I just inspected their code and stole their colors. And I say there like I don't work here. <laughs> but um, So that when students click library, that they don't feel like they're getting too far away from what they're used to. And then once they get here, everything is in-house with the catalog as the, the main thing. 